quick revision video on amides. So we'll start with the essentials. The derivatives of carboxylic acids where the hydroxyl group, the OH group, has been replaced with ammonia or an amine. Amides can be primary, secondary or tertiary. So we'll have a quick look at that now. So there's the structure of a primary amide and basically the N is bonded to one carbon directly and so that's why it's primary. Secondary would look like that. So you've got the carbon here of the C double bond O and the R group directly bonded to the nitrogen. So two carbons essentially bonded to that nitrogen. And tertiary is obviously going to be three. So we've got two R groups on the N and this C of the C double bond O. They're typically prepared by reacting acyl chlorides with ammonia or amines. I'll spend a bit of time looking at that in a moment. You can also make them from acid anhydrides. I've got an example of that as well. Finally, polyamides obviously contain the amide link, but I cover that in the condensation polymers quick revision video. So I'm not going to look at polyamides in this one. So first thing we'll do is name and classify these amides. So I don't know if you want to have a go at that and pause the video, play on when you're ready. So I haven't been very original with the order of these. So we've got a primary amide, secondary amide, and tertiary amide. So just very quickly, that N is bonded to one carbon directly. That N is bonded to one, two. That N is bonded to one, two, three. So in terms of names, the first one with its three carbons is called propanamide. The next one, the secondary one, so we've got a phenyl group on the nitrogen of propanamide. So it's called N-phenyl propanamide. The tertiary amide, we've got an ethyl group and a methyl group on the nitrogen of an amide with five carbons. So that's called N-ethyl, N-methyl pentanamide. And there's an alphabet rule going on there. So E coming before M in the name. So we'll look at how to make them now. So remember what we said on the essential slide, amides can be prepared by reacting acyl chlorides or acid anhydrides with ammonia or amines. So just a reminder of the structures of those two functional groups. So acyl chlorides look like this and acid anhydrides look like that. Often these R groups are the same, but they can be different. So we'll just take each one in turn. So there's your acyl chloride. Take some ammonia, and the way I think about it is sort of a lasso around the HCl. So we'll highlight that, and then we'll just put that together. So your amide is formed that way. So R C double bond O N H two. So you can see that there. So obviously the other product here is HCl. If you were using an acid anhydride, very similar process, but this time the lasso would take out the carboxylic acid. So your other product is a carboxylic acid if you use an acid anhydride, but you still get that primary amide. And obviously, if you wanted to make a secondary amide or a tertiary amide, this would be an amine. So if it was a secondary amide, you'd have an R group here, it still takes out the H and the Cl. And if it was a tertiary amide you were wanting to make, you'd have two R groups on there. So in other words, you'd use a secondary amine. So those three amides that we, we named earlier, let's see how you would make those from acyl chlorides. So again, if you wanted to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready. So propanamide first, you would use this acyl chloride here with one, two, three carbons. So that's called propanoyl chloride. And obviously you'd react that with ammonia. If you wanted to make the N-phenyl propanamide, you'd still use propanoyl chloride to get this part, but in terms of the amine, you would use phenyl amine. And the final one, the N-ethyl N-methyl pentanamide, there's the equation, and so the acyl chloride you'd use would be the one with five carbons, pentanoyl chloride, and the secondary amine that you're going to use is N-methyl ethyl amine.
And finally, an example of how you'd make an amide from an acid anhydride, I've gone for paracetamol. So the acid anhydride would give us this part here. So that's going to come from ethanoic anhydride. This part here is going to come from an amine, and that's going to be 4-aminophenol.